James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Calgary's got to find some energy here. The game's close, but they haven't had very many shots on goal. You're not going to score like that. The Flames gain control of the puck. And now he moves it to Goudreau. They go on the attack through center. Here's a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Kemper. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Avs are up 3-1. Calgary's got it, and they're on the attack. Kemper's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Fails to find the open man. Colorado's in now. The Flames take over on possession. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. Calgary's on the attack. And that puck leaves the zone. Puts it in deep. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Goudreau. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Taken by Byram. Great pressure on the offensive end by Goudreau. Look at this. It's a two-on-one. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Great reflexes. Another save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. Puck scooped up by Gerard. Steps inside. Quick pass to Parisi. Oh, what a blocker stopped by Markstrom. Puck picked up by Backlund. Markstrom's had to be sharp. I mean, he's had a busy, busy night in goal. The puck is in their end a lot. That's blocked. Broken up with a stick. Puck grab by Drouin. Here he is in front! Kemper's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Avs have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Stepans won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Colorado's got it along the wall. The Flames pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Quick pass across to Jost. Picked off by Fisher. Colorado's stick position is exemplary tonight. Teams can look at this on video and think that's how you defend the middle of the ice. Excellent stick work on the play. They fight for it along the boards. Thunderous hit. You can hear it all the way from up here. Lots of times I miss playing, James. That's not one of them. I like I'm in a suit right now. That one hurt. Long lead pass into the open ice. Sends it in deep. Colorado's got the puck behind the net. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he fans on it. Markstrom's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Flames take possession in the defensive end. And they'll dump it in. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Taken along the wall by Bjorkfoot. And now it's grabbed by Kossier. Nice save from point blank range. It's a really good save in tight. He shuts down the area where the puck can go by getting out onto the puck, and there's nowhere for the shooter to put it. Past the halfway mark of this period, Colorado's got a 3-1 lead. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Grabbed along the board by Landeskog. Takes the return feed. 
Moves it to McKinnon. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Sends a pass over. Colorado's got it along the wall. Quick feed to Rantanen. Monaghan's got the puck along the wing. Throws it in. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Avalanche have the puck in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Rantanen. Headman pass. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Avalanche have been handed a two-minute penalty for holding. struggle before and it's something that their coach has been working on with them day to day during practice and if they can have the confidence to pull this one off it might get the momentum going in the right direction here let's see what happens oh stick save and a beaut Kemper's had to do his part he's had a good night in the goal but at the other end they've been really sharp around the net they'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. And he takes the feed. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. That's not going to fool him. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. Oh, it stops him again. Kemper's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Past the midway mark of the frame, Colorado's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. The Flames will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Backlund. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Dubé's got the puck. Pumped away by the goaltender. Puck dumped in. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tube. The Flames are going to have to move it up quickly here if they're going to capitalize on this power play. McKinnon's up at the box. Oh, stop with the pad by Kemper. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Here in the later stages of this period, 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Kadri's won it in their own end. And now he angles it across to Burakovsky. And he gives it over to Johnson. The Avs gain the zone. Maintains possession. Blocked in traffic. Denies him in close. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Joe won it off the face-off. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. The Flames played along the wing. Quick snap. Scores! And they get one back. Oh, they're inching closer, James. There's still time to try and find one more to tie this game. The Flames are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. Here's a short pass to Kachuk. Takes a shot. He scores! Could we get OT here? Well, we got a better chance now, don't we? The game's tied up late here in the third period. The coach was pushing his players to stay aggressive, and they get the equalizer. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Dumps it in. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Tries to get the puck over to Tanev. Poked away at center by Kelt. Feeds the puck across to Delzato. 
Colorado's got it against the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Markstrom. Big stop by the keeper. And he keeps possession. And now it's over to Dubé. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides the puck across to Dubé. Oh, that just sounded painful. The Flames gain possession in their own end. I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start the change of momentum of this tight game. The Avalanche have found the all-important lead here in the third. Still can't sit back now, James. Of course, you'd love to play in front. Still be aggressive and try and increase the lead. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Sorry, James. I jumped in there, but that was a huge hit as the play continued way right past him. Calgary's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Kemper's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Possession here in their own end. The Avs have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fire. And oh, can't connect. Quick pass to the truck. Shot. And this one is all over as the final. 